Hello and welcome to this video on phaco emulsification for a grade 2 cataract. Today, I'll be walking you through the steps of this procedure and how I do my routine cases under topical anesthesia. After administering topical anesthesia, that is eye drop paracaine 0.5%, patient is shifted to the operating table. Using 19 gauge MVR blade, I already have made two side ports of about 1.4 mm size and started with capsular excess. I usually aim for a 5 mm continuous curvilinear capsular excess. Using cystitome made of 26 gauge needle, I make a nick in the capsule and pull it towards 12 o'clock and unfolding the flap on itself, I move it anti-clockwise in circular fashion using shear force. Against the retroillumination background, the interior capsule is easily visible and it's easier to do capsulotomy. After that, I make a 2.2 mm clear corneal incision temporarily and pressing on the lower lip of the incision, I remove all the viscoelastic from the interior chamber. I then proceed with hydrodissection using a 26 gauge cannula and lifting the interior capsule. I go to the equator and give a wave of PSS to cleave the endonucleus from the posterior capsule. I repeat this in three quadrants and once the dissection is complete, I give two waves of fluid in between the nucleus and cortex for hydrodelineation. Once the nucleus is freely mobile, I put a shell of viscodispersive OVD and viscocohesive underneath to protect the endothelium. Next. I use phaco emulsification handpiece which is introduced bevel down and is rotated to bevel up. I begin with sculpting. Your sculpting should be shallower in periphery and as you move towards the center, I move it towards the deeper plane and come out again in shallower plane as I move forward. This process is repeated until I achieve an adequate depth. Once I reach 90% depth and the fundal glow is more prominent, I know that my trench is complete and I divide the endonucleus into two halves with the help of phaco probe and Simsky hook. This method of phaco emulsification is known as stop and chop technique and is much easier to learn than phaco chop. Once I have these two heminuclei, I impale one half of the nucleus from center and aspirate on foot pedal too and once it's separated from the capsule of onyx, it's easier to chop it into two halves and emulsify one half subsequently on foot pedal three. Similarly, the other heminuclei is brought up, divided with second instrument and emulsified. When you are on the last piece for emulsification, make sure to have a good control on the foot pedal as there are high chances of surge in the last phase and hitting the posterior capsule. After phaco emulsification, a lot of epinucleus remains are seen which are aspirated on epinucleus mode. Moving on to irrigation and aspiration, I begin by using a coaxial probe 
to aspirate the cortical fibers which comes easily as a sheet. You can see a lot of lens epithelial cells on the posterior capsule which are removed with polishing of the posterior capsule. I am meticulous when it comes to removing as much as epithelial cells as possible as these are responsible for posterior capsular opacification after cataract surgery. Also polishing the underside of the interior capsule margin here. I then fill the capsular bag with viscocohesive OVD and a one-piece foldable monofocal intraocular lens is being implanted with the help of the technus shooter. After IOL insertion, the lens is dialed into the bag by manipulating with Simsky hook and nudging it under the capsule. Once you have centered the IOL, finally the viscoelastic is removed, present anterior as well as posterior to the lens being very careful not to damage the posterior capsule in the process. After that, my case is concluded and I make sure to hydrate my incisions and confirm if they are sealed. I am checking for any leaks with the help of a cotton bud. In the end, I give subconjunctival injection of 0.1 ml gentamicin plus dexamethasone combination and the case looks good. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content from this channel.